Don't tell me words don't matter. Truth is the Ark of the Covenant buried in Ethiopia Watch who you fuck with a Minneapolis Somalian When I go home, the world I used to know is gone And now I'll live on my own For what shall it profit a rapper with creative control To sign a deal with the devil and lose his soul My stillborn first expression is cold Like the faces of slave masters on a paid by fold Subliminal racial supremacy choking me quick Like the bedtime stories of Joseph Smith Lynch mob gunning for me trying to murder my seeds A shorty put him in the Nile in a basket of reeds And now I stare into the future with a spiritual flashlight Wondering who the fuck was me in a past life Bad diet, fuck raw, die young, fast life Same as a crash flight that took off When the music died on your last night Tell them the truth and they call you a traitor Talk to them honestly and they call you a hater What's up, folks? Permanent Patriot. I'm in quite of a dilemma here with some yoga spiritualist. Need a little bit of help. If anyone knows anything about yoga, I'd appreciate it. Uh, so, me and a couple guys are watching this video. Let me find it. We're watching this video, healings of Christ and whatnot, and uh, something came up. <laughs> I'm not going to go through the whole conversation, but I tried telling them that yoga is a satanic practice. They tried telling me, no, it's not. I have a mental illness. <laughs> So, oh no, this fucker's not going to open? Come on. So, um, anyways, I'm over here looking. Here it says yoga is not a sin. And it goes through the story talking about it. And it says, you know, uh, this Catholic priest in Northern Ireland sparked a debate online, which I should have fucking known was going to come eventually as soon as I saw it, that yoga was satanic. I was like, oh God. That's the last fucking thing yoga people need to hear. So here we go. The fucking game begins. More of the fucking devil's shit. So we joined a long list of Christians and people of other religions to link yoga with the devil. Now, there's a couple things here. First of all, I got this story of it being satanic from before its news. Very credible site. It says the reason, oh, yeah, whatever. Talk about the yoke. What most people don't know is that you're actually being yoked to Hindu false god demons. It is a Hindu based thing, I'm pretty sure. Some people will say Indian. Uh, I put them in the same group. What the fuck do I know? Uh, yoga was created by Hindus that worship literally thousands of false gods, otherwise known as demons. Very true. The poses are actually worship poses to different Hindu false gods. Have you ever seen a fucking god? How they sit? How they pose? You ever seen their statue? Yeah, it's for relaxation and to take stress away. So it's easier for the demon to creep into your soul. Does anybody fucking look anything up? Damn, man. It took me two fucking seconds to do that. And it took me two seconds the last time, too. You might want to fucking think, you know... Do something like that before you're going to question somebody. I don't go on and make myself look like a fucking idiot. 
I look, I look at shit. I research shit before I put it out and make myself look like a fucking idiot. You don't think I know people that do yoga? You don't think I know people who are Catholic and follow the Pope? You don't think I know people who love Barack Obama? Fucking problem with the world, folks, right here. Fucking people like this. This fucking schmuck asking me questions over here. I still ain't open. And see, you know, that's it, man. That's it. I, if, if I even think it's going to be controversial, nobody is commenting on shit. On shit. That's it. No more comments. I cannot take the fucking level of stupidity. And you know, that's what drives me nuts the most, is the level of stupidity. Especially over the simplest tasks. Oh, I do wonder if go. Hey, maybe this guy could be right. Uh, let me see. Is yoga satanic? Project dot n search dot com. Elephant Journal, and about 2,500 other fucking places, okay? Go do your fucking yoga, and put your two fingers up your asshole. So, yoga thing. I think you guys watching the, the yoga thing. About spirituality and Jesus, the devil, and yoga. And I said, yoga satanic. But nobody says, where did you hear that? Or, um, what facts do you got? You know, nothing. No, they jump right in, start calling me a mental patient. Uh, someone, son of Satan, you know. I don't like that shit. That really pisses me off. So, I went back here to give him the facts. What I assume are, because I'm over here on Before It's News, very credible site. Grand Kennedy. I do question a few of his things, but my boy Dabu is on here, so, you know, that's one major reason I know this shit is legit. But, so this is what he says. What most people don't know is that you're actually being yoke. That's what yoga means. Yoke. To Hindu false god demons. Yoga was created by Hindus that worship literally thousands of false gods otherwise known as demons. And the poses are actually worship poses to different Hindu false gods. Most are very naive about that. They are doing. And of course most aren't being told about it. Um, goes on to say yoke themselves to Hindu demons but that's exactly what they are doing if they do yoga it was created to do this so there is of course only yeah there's only one god yes there is however there's many demons if anybody talks about the other gods and they are in fact talking about false gods or demons. True story here. Demons are absolutely real. And they do have power. But anybody that has given their life to Jesus Christ cannot be harmed by these demons. If you're doing yoga right now, then you owe it to yourself to learn the truth about it from a former yoga expert that discovered the truth. Satan doesn't show up with a black cape and a pitchfork. He comes at you with things that might seem completely innocent at first. I'm sure some of you are saying to yourself that yoga is a good exercise. But if you're saying that to yourself, you're dead wrong. Do you want to risk your eternal soul without learning anymore? Well, I sure don't, Glenn. Or whatever that dude's name is, but... Let's go over and see what Mark Dice had to say. Now... I can tell you, I don't like Mark Dice. I always had a bad, weird feeling about the guy. 
lot of people say he's River Phoenix. Saying that uh, you faked his death, and uh, this is him now. That's the new thing, you know. Uh, and another guy, uh, you know, it's Alex Jones. And another guy is, uh, I think, uh, Jesse Ventura. You know, the whole crew. So that's the new thing this month. Who they are and who they work for. And, uh, yeah, Dice always gave me a weird feeling. Like, I like his stuff and everything. And, he, you know, funny. Something inside me, though, always telling me that something ain't right about this dude. But anyways, uh, I sure do hate how he attacks certain aspects of society, but, you know, puts them down and degrades them. Nevertheless, I do the same sometimes. Uh, so that's why I haven't muted. <laughs> but just for your guys' sake, here's what he had to say. The former chief exorcist at the Vatican said that practicing yoga is satanic and leads to evil. Let me just add that to the list of 10,000 reasons why the Catholic Church is just a pathetic, terrible Yeah, another curveball. I know the Vatican is corrupt as fuck, and I know the Vatican has Satan in there. Now, the chief science guy, I think, something like that, chief spiritual dude, you know, for the Vatican, is saying that yoga is satanic. So now it's leading me to think, He's putting out this info, and it really ain't satanic. It's good for you. I don't know. Now, please get a yoga expert. Because I don't want to waste time looking into yoga. But I damn sure ain't going to not do anything. <laughs> Criminal, corrupt, satanic organization of themselves. You know, maybe if Pope Benedict would have actually practiced yoga or practiced yoga, he probably would have been a little healthier, so he wouldn't have had to step down for the first Pope in history. Quit. Yeah, th this is interesting, particularly to me, because in San Diego, there's a school that was trying to implement yoga classes, and some of the parents thought that it was indoctrinating the kids into Eastern religions. I guess yeah. these same parents are probably afraid to take their kids to eat Indian food at the taste of, of India or whatever Indian restaurant is in. Yeah, again, again, question in Mark Dice. Because they are doing that, Mr. Dice. Is everyone doing it? No. But geez, I'm not gonna waste time discerning between fucking yoga practice here. But I mean, millions of people fucking practice yoga, so I think it's something that should be talked about. You know, it's the only reason I'm touching on it. And now that I'm this fucking deep into it, I want to fucking know. Okay, because now we're talking about demons. And I don't fucking like demons. I'm a demon destroyer. So, it'll help over here. I went to a few other places too. Elephant Journal. About the mindful life, you know? It's about the mindful life. They're trying to get in my head already. Jeez, they don't waste time, do they? Yoga is not a sin. That's what they say. That comes from uh, Father Roland Calhoun, Catholic priest in Londonbury, Northern Ireland. Sparked a debate online as he joined a long list of Christians and people of other religions who link yoga with the devil. During a sermon at Mass, he told the congregation that it's slippery slope from yoga to Satan. With regard to the risk of yoga specifically, Reminded us that Pope Francis is said, uh, do not seek spiritual answers in yoga classes. Uh, 
uh, he went on, there's the spiritual health risk when you take up those practices from other cultures which are outside our Christian domain. You don't know what you're opening yourself up to. Uh, the bad spirit can be <clears throat> the bad spirit can be communicated in a variety of ways. I'm not saying everyone gets it or it happens every time. And people may well be doing yoga harmlessly. But there's always a risk that and that's why the Pope mentioned it. And that's why we talk about it in terms of no, 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 no. We're not having this shit, okay? Where the Pope, uh, where the Pope saying one thing, but he means, you know, he means a bunch of things. No, no, no. Cause, cause God don't do that. There's always a risk. There's always a risk. God wouldn't say that. Ask God a question, he'd be like, no. Yes. I don't think God would say, well, there's always a risk. His choice of words echo not only Pat Robertson, another lying scumbag who's going to hell, but also a friend of a friend of mine, a woman, who not long ago tried to persuade me that the world is run by Satan. persuade you? Where the fuck have you been? So there's that page. Type in yoga, and yoga is satanic. You get all sorts of fucking, I mean, a whole bunch saying that it's satanic. And you get a whole bunch saying that it's good for you. So, I want to know what it is. Because one thing's for damn sure. I'm not going to waste any more time today talking about fucking yoga. God bless and carry on. Okay, folks, here's the deal. I need to know if this yoga is satanic or not. And I want 100% hardcore proof. Okay? I just went to my fail save. You got zero answers. Well, zero answers so far. I don't want to continue on with that anymore. I did the image thing. Okay. Um, I, I got all sorts of... I went to all sorts of different places. I'm not getting anything for answers. All I'm getting is this one says it's good, this one says it's bad. This one says it's good, this one says it's bad. And I've even got People that I know and trust saying that it's good, and people I know and trust saying it's bad. So, what the fuck? Can anyone help me out here? I'd appreciate it. There's permanent Patriot on my Facebook. Any of you know, me and Facebook got a little beef. Well, really, me and Mark Fuckerberg have a little beef. Uh, his employees just tend to piss me off. But I can't get into my other account. Can't touch it. And uh, even if I could find a way in, probably wouldn't. A lot of pictures over there that totally gone now. Shouldn't be no way I can get them. I don't have a hard drive <clears throat> saver, you know. I do, but, you know, stuff on it. But if anybody knows a way that I could uh, get those or someone could get in there and maybe copy them for me, 
I don't think anybody can get in though. Because they think they locked the page. It's not available. So, you know, way around that one, I could hear it. Oh, by the way, fuck you, Mark Puckerberg, and fuck your system. You slimy piece of shit douchebag. If you don't know, Mark Puckerberg is a Nambla boy toy, aren't you, Marky? Likes getting fucked in the ass, and he likes fucking in the ass. He likes all that sick shit. He's involved in fucking child snuff films. He's involved in satanic child kidnapping rings, aren't you, Marky?